Rabbi, it's Norman. I know, I've been calling you all morning. Why don't you answer your phone? I'm answering now. You want to hear what I have to say? Yeah, you spoke to him? What did he say? Let's just say, get ready for a big surprise. How many zeros are at the end of the surprise? Can you tell me that at least? Come on! A considerable surprise. That's... That's it. Uh, I gotta go, Rabbi. No, no, tomorrow. Norman, you realize how important this is, right? We are gonna be kicked out of here. You need to give us a firm answer. No games, Norman. Hold on. Hold on. No time I for... I can't hear a word you're saying. Norman! Norman! God damn it! How is the Rabbi connected to this again, Norman? Remind me, why am I doing this? Do you want Rabbi Blumenthal to marry you or not? All you have to do is you pick up the phone, call one of your buddies at Harvard on behalf of the Prime Minister of Israel. Is that really so difficult for you? Don't belittle what I'm doing, okay? In the world of Harvard admissions, this is the biggest no-no in the book. It's, it's like incest. It's taboo. That's funny, because Rabbi Blumenthal is going to think exactly the same thing when he finds out I'm asking him to marry a Cohen and a convert who isn't even officially converted. Oh, 